Here we have one cubic equation x cube plus x square equal to 36. We have to find the value of x. Solve for x. So let us find out how we will find out the solution of this cubic equation. So I can split this 36 as 27 plus 9. Why I am writing this? Because x cube is some number cube x square that number is square so I am trying to write this 36 in terms of number cube plus number square so is it possible for me so 36 can be written as 27 plus 9 is 36 now this 27 is further in exponent form can be written like this and 9 is 3 power 2. As we know, 3 power 3 equal to 27 and 3 power 2 is equal to 9. So let's put this value in place of 36. So equation can be written x cube plus x square is equal to 3 cube plus 3 square. Now let's take square and cube terms towards left. So equation can be written as 3 cube minus 3 square equal to 0. Now let's take this cubic term at one place and square terms at another place. So I can write x cube minus 3 cube plus x square minus 3 square equal to 0. So now we know that the identity a cube minus b cube is equal to a minus b second bracket a square plus ab plus b square. And same way a square minus b square can be written as a minus b a plus b. Now I will use those identity to simplify that equation. So this is we will apply for the simplification of this equation. So let's consider x cube minus 3 cube plus x square minus 3 square is equal to 0. So a cube minus b cube I will write a minus b so x minus 3 a square plus a b plus b square so 9 3 square is 9 this part is done now consider the formula of difference difference in square so x square minus 3 square i will write x minus 3 times x plus 3 now as we can see x minus 3 term is there so we will take x minus 3 common from the equation. So what would be left? x square plus 3x plus 9 plus x plus 3 equal to 0. So x minus 3 times x square plus 4x plus 12 equal to 0. 9 plus 3 is 12. 3x plus x 4x. x square as it is. So this equation can be split in two brackets. So now if a dot b 
equal to 0 that means either a equal to 0 or b equal to 0. So I will put either x minus 3 equal to 0 or x square plus 4x plus 12 equal to 0. If I am taking x minus 3 equal to 0, solution will be x equal to 3. By adding 3 to both sides, I will be getting x equal to 3. This is one of real solution. Now let us consider the second equation that is x square plus 4x plus 12 equal to 0. Now this is one quadratic equation and if you observe a is 1, b is 4 and c is 12. So let's check whether roots are real or imaginary. I will check b square minus 4ac value. If that value is less than 0, then imaginary roots. Imaginary roots will come out. And if this is greater than 0, then real root will come. So let's put the value. b square means 4 square minus 4 times a times c. So 4 square is 16 minus 4 times 12 is 48. If you check that value will come out negative 32 which is less than 0. So complex roots or imaginary roots will come into the solution. So what we will do? We will find out those complex or imaginary roots. So we know the formula x is equal to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. Let's put the value. So minus b minus 4 plus minus b square. So 4 square minus 4ac. So 1 times 12 divided by 2a. So 2. 2 times 1 is 2. Now let's find out x is equal to the value is minus 4 plus minus 4 square is 16 minus 48. over 2. So minus 4 plus minus root 32 divided by 2. So that value will come out minus 4 plus minus root 32 that will be written as 32 times iota square. As we know that iota is a square root of negative 1 or iota square is negative 1. So that value will come, that denominator is also 1, 2. So that value will be minus 4 plus minus what I will write 16 times 2. So 4 root 2 times iota divided by 2. So that value will be minus 2 plus minus 2 root 2 iota. That means this cubic equation will have three solutions. Two solutions are imaginary. That value would be negative 2 plus minus iota 2 root 2 and real solution is x is equal to 3. For more exciting videos, don't forget to subscribe and press thumbs up button. Thank you so much for watching.